Baby, welcome to the party. Huh? I hit the boy up and then I go skate around it. Baby, welcome to the party. DJ C-A-Y-N-E, that's me. Back again with another video. Make sure to cop the hats. DJ Kane, DJ C-A-Y-N-E, like Kane and Abel. I'm Kane. DJ C-A-Y-N-E dot com, go cop the hats. So today, we're going to talk about demon time. That demonic vibe that's been going on in the nightclubs, on the music videos, on the radio. It was a video that I saw on Instagram, and this artist, I think he's like an artist, but he was talking about how nowadays it seems like in most of the black clubs, or you know, just most clubs in general, we just party into like this dark murder serial killer music. And he's got a point, so let's check it out. I'm gonna bring it on the screen. Make sure to like and subscribe to the ones and twos podcast and cop the hats if you can. Let's check it out. Y'all know why the vibe be so off in some of the black clubs, man. We really be in there trying to have a good time listening to 30 straight serial killer songs. Like, we really in there trying to have a good time and vibe out to murder music. Mm. What We in there hypnotized. We damn near all done lost somebody to violence. That's why we all in there Thanks. on the verge of socking some shit. We keep listening to serial killer music. These young mad ass niggas talk about hitting somebody with a switch. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. 30 clip, slide, slide, slide. Man, we in there drunk. We really hypnotized listening to this devil ass shit. I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't like some of the music, but it be like, man, how's we partying, trying to have a good time listening to murder music? This shit is mm -hmm. psychopath shit, for real. Like, I mean, it did. We yeah, gotta start mind. switching it up, man. And something gotta change, because. Yeah. That shit is really like, it blow my mind. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. No, it's not just you, bro. Hey, man. All right. So, yeah, let me let me kind of give my input on that. He's not lying. And trust me, even me, DJ Kane, come on. I play some of the Future, some of the Finesse Two Times, the Young Dolph Money Back Yo. I've played all that stuff. The Travis Scott's Lil Vert. Y'all know that video we talked about. Y'all going to hell with me. But. He has a point. Even if you're not a believer or not, you can still pick up on the low frequencies, the low vibrations. And he was talking about more specifically in the black clubs. And I'm not going to lie, you know, a lot of the hip hop that's going on, it is low vibrational. A lot of the newer hip hop. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's being promoted like that, but it is what people are gravitating to the most. Um, these record labels, these radio DJs are pushing it out like crazy. Um, just like the last gun to tape, Young Thug. It's cool beats, but the vibes on a lot of those songs are just like real low, like talking about drugs, murder, all this stuff. And I don't know, to be honest, y'all know me. If y'all go to any of my gigs, you know that I don't like playing that stuff that often. And my crowds usually don't rock with that type of music a lot. Now, I do play it from time to time, but I keep it in moderation. I can't play a whole set of just rap music like that. I'd go crazy. You know what I'm talking about? It seems like the new music that's being made nowadays in hip hop is either drug dealing, steal your bitch, you know, move that weight type rap, twerk rap, or just that real depressing rap, you know, like that Rod Wave, which Rod Wave is awesome. But just stuff like that, it's just like, it's cool. But see, me personally, I can't pop bottles of that stuff. I, me, I'd rather go back to like the 2010, like the young LA, uh, Young Dro, you know, stuff like that, T.I. I don't know why. It's just I can't really get off to that type, type music. Um, maybe it's because me and myself, I, got, I just got good vibrations. And this is why I've been telling folks, bro, the 90s music, 2000s music, like Nelly, Eve, DMX. And I'm not going to lie, even in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, yeah, we had some dark songs there, here and there. But for the most part, it, wouldn't be, it wasn't promoted like that. Tupac has some dark songs. Biggie Smalls had uh, uh, Junior Mafia. All of them had some dark songs. But most of the hit songs overrode all their dark songs. I'm telling you. Bone Thugs. I mean, they got dark songs. But most of the songs that you would hear in the club by them were mostly upbeat. They had an upbeat feel to it. Um, more major chord progressions. I'm telling you. And this is why the 90s and 2000s music is always going to thrive. I'm telling you. It's always going to thrive. 
even some of the newer artists, some of them are remixing a lot, like a lot of the old school beats and cadences into the new stuff. Jeremiah does it a lot. You know, The Weeknd, all these guys are remixing old stuff because they know that that type of music was timeless. And this is why I told y'all, DJing, I could literally DJ the rest of my life just playing 90s and 2000s music because it's always going to be in demand. 90s and 2000s nights is always, always going to be in demand. I'm telling you, it's always going to be in demand. All the new music coming out, you know, Future, all these other guys, they're great artists, but that music is here and now, you know, gone tomorrow. I'm being dead honest with you. You know what I mean? So DMX Party Up, that's always going to be a hit. You're always going to hear people remixing that left and right. Nelly, Ride, you know, hey, must be the, I mean, you know, it may sound corny to most of y'all, but. To majority of the people on this earth, that song is going to stand the test of time. So R&B music right now in hip hop, because R&B and hip hop is kind of like meshed together. But the R&B music, even in hip hop, the newer hip hop, it's it's still dark. You know, it's all all they talk about is fucking and all this stuff like that. It's not really uh, like uh, what's the word? Uh, it's not really um, it's not courting. You know what I mean? It's just like straight to the point. I want to smash. Let's get it on. I got bottles. I got weed. I got pills. Let's go. You know what I mean? Now, back in the day, you know, they, they kind of said that sort of. You know, if you listen to uh, Key Sweat, you know, all these other old school artists, Jagged Edge, they kind of said it too. Even Boys to Men. But they made it real artsy. You know, it's like your love is like a river. Your love is like Sunday morning rays, all that. Nowadays, it's like, that pussy fat, I'm trying to get in that, what's up, where you at? You know what I mean? So, it's different. And trust me, if, it, if y'all come to my shows, man, I, I like playing that stuff from time to time, but it's just got to be in moderation, bro. This is why I can't play at certain clubs, man, because I just can't do it. And y'all be like, oh, DJ Kane, you play a lot of that white music, a lot of that house music. You play a lot of that uh, EDM music. Listen... This is how I can tell you niggas do not know music at all. Maybe you know rap and R&B, a little bit of Afrobeats. Y'all don't know music at all. So when I'm playing house music, and they be saying, oh, it's white music. <sighs> Learn your fucking history. Bro, you don't even understand how much black people have put in to develop modern house beats, techno. We have, a, we have deep roots in a lot of that music, country music. Come on, man. Come on, man. Really? Y'all missing out, bro. I love house music. Because you can even tell, you know, what the guy was talking about, the low vibrational music. It's like a slower tempo, slower cadence, you know. Um, I feel like the twerking music is honestly the the only, I wouldn't say positive vibe, but it's upbeat. Even some of the newer house music that's being dropped, it's like feel good, positive type music. Now, don't get me wrong. They talk about some stuff like, you know, taking pills and Ibiza and stuff like that. But the chord progressions are usually like more melodic and and it's more musical. And trust me, it may not be your taste, but compared to a lot of the new demonic hip hop and rap, it's a total contrast. So will this change eventually? I don't know, because right now, you know, Drake's pushing this hard, Future's pushing this hard, all these new up-and-coming artists that these record labels and these radio DJs are pushing out, they all have this vibe. I'm just waiting for the time where they start pushing out dance rap music, like the Dougie, you know, it's going down, like it don't have to be that type of, that same type of snap music, but just beats and cadences and melodies that have like a dance vibe to it, because... Don't get me wrong. We play those songs over and over and over and over and over. And I, I, it never really gets boring to me because those songs are good songs. People people still today, 19, 19-year-old 19 kids know them songs thoroughly. And I, I learned about that stuff when I was like in middle school and it was new to me. And it's kids who are in middle school today that rock to Dougie and Young Jock is going down. Like, why is that? Why is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 crazy. Because those songs have such a good vibe to it, and they stood the test of time, bro. And, of course, they were being heavily promoted back in the day, too. But I just feel like we need to promote more of that type of music, you know, just, like, dance-type music. Because, you know, the, the, the new type of stuff, it just seemed like the girls are just twerking on each other, which is cool. Do what you got to do. The guys are just throwing up shit and... 
pouring liquor on each other, which is cool. Do what you got to do. But with the newer stuff, you don't see them like really dancing with each other. It's like y'all over here. I'm over here. We just looking at each other, just literally standing in the club like this, bro. Got a whole bottle in your hand. You just, oh, yeah, with your sunglasses on. Don't even know what you're looking at. Just you can be cross-eyed just in the club, just just looking stupid, bro. <laughs> telling you. Because they don't play music where God, people can dance with each other. But as soon as they throw on that R&B, oh, bro. As soon as they throw on that R&B, it goes crazy. Now, a quick thing about that. It's always the old school R&B. It's like, where's the new stuff? Chris Brown is taking over the game with the new stuff. Cool. Um, but even his music ain't like that real R&B. It's like, can we talk? Frankie and Beverly Mays, Keisha Cole. Come on, man. We got we got to get more than just that. It's, you know, make it last forever. Like, it's more than just that, bro. So the fact that we have to keep referring back to the 80s, back to the 90s to give y'all real R&B, what does that tell you? R&B has died off because we constantly hopping into the time capsule to pull out good shit. But when it comes to the rap music, you know, if it's a hit song, you could get something that just dropped last week by Future or Drake and it could be a hit song or finesse two times uh, and it could be a hit song. So R&B is dead. I'm hoping that it can come back because I love the old school stuff. I can play it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But I want some new music. I want some new vibes. I want to hear some good R&B from somebody that's my age singing on some real R&B stuff. Not some shit like I got the pills in the back. I got the cognac. Bust it back like that. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, bro. But they, you know, they sing into it. They, you know, well, I got the band in them. Yeah, we ain't going to get it. But yeah, man, you know, hopefully it'll change. Um, I love DJ and all music. But like I said, you know, I agree with old boy was saying in the video. I can only do that stuff in moderation because y'all hear me. I'll be mixing it house beats over some of the most craziest stuff. And I have fun with it. And y'all like it, too. So I, I have fun with that stuff, man. Yeah, I'll be dropping like, uh, what was I dropped? Like a some Mo 3 song or something like that. It was like from his uh his 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 uh his last album and i threw like a house beat over it and it was just like <laughs> you know what i mean i like doing stuff like that just brightening up the mood man because if i'm not if i'm feeling like the vibe that's too low vibrational i'm gonna change it up immediately so hopefully one day it'll change because you know i, I want i want to hear some new good r&b like digging back into the 80s and 90s is cool but come on man we got it's so many talented people out here these record labels and these djs which this is kind of piggybacking on another video i'm gonna drop is that we need to start promoting more up-and-coming artists and send me some music i'm telling you dj kane is right here i play y'all's music bro i if it ain't good i tell you i play people's music the problem is y'all don't send me the music y'all don't show up to the gigs to promote yourself like i'm not gonna beg you to promote yo shit like what the f what you on bro y'all want to hear good music start investing into yourself and uh and let's make it happen because a lot of y'all are talented and i want to hear it but anyway it's your boy dj kane y'all be safe out there and I may, I may do a part two about this because uh, this is a good topic this is a real good topic i'm not ashamed to talk about this um I think this is very interesting. Y'all go check out the video. I'm going to put the link in the description. It gets you thinking a little bit. It gets you thinking a little bit. Um, because you are what you eat. You know what I'm saying? If you're ingesting a lot of bad food, you're going to look bad, right? And if, you, if you're ingesting a lot of bad thoughts, bad media, you're going to think bad. So, again, this type of music is cool. But I think, honestly, in moderation, you got to do it in moderation. But it's your boy, DJ Cannon. I'll make sure to like and subscribe once to podcast. Hats, DJCAYNE.com. Y'all have a good morning. I love y'all. Be safe. God bless. Yeah.